Hello everyone! At this time, I would like to share with you another topic about the use of Microsoft Excel application. And uh, at this time, I would like to introduce functions. Okay, so when we see functions, uh, as we recall our previous lesson about formulas, we create the formula manually. But at this time, uh, we are to learn the feature of the Microsoft Excel, which is we use formula through the use of functions. So when we say functions, it means a built-in formula, or they are the what we call built-in formulas. That means you don't have to create a formula, you just have to utilize the feature of the Excel that allows you to use functions and do the automatic computations on your data. So there are actually many different types of functions available in Microsoft Excel. So there are uh, mathematical functions, there are statistical functions, there are scientific functions, but I just would like to introduce the basic functions. And it is uh, a combination of those uh, classification of functions. So we have here the, the mean, max, median, and mode. They are actually under the statistical functions. And uh, I also have to introduce to you the sum and average functions. So I don't think so. They are new to you. And I think you already have idea about how they work. But anyway, I would like to give you a demonstration of how you are. To use those functions so let's start it off with the mean function so when we say mean okay so i just would like you to find out what we mean by mean functions i just use it in our formula so in starting with the function just like formula we start with the equal sign and then we are to type the name of the function but i as i start type the first letter of the function all other functions that starts with the same letter like M, all M functions will appear in the selection. So you either continue typing here or you can select the name of the function. So you just would like to use the, the name that is specified in the option. So that's mean. Then after which you can either type the cell address here, which you want to include in your computation, or you can highlight the range of cells you want to include in your computation so i would just like to highlight okay since there are lots of cell address or cell addresses that i want to include in my computation so i'll start with c with the, the range b4 and e8 okay so automatically microsoft excel will just display the range that you have highlighted then after which just close the range or the parentheses then type enter key so the result is seven so i hope you have an idea about what we mean by mean function okay so seven means the minimum value of the range that we have highlighted okay so all the values in the range okay all of those values the lowest value or the minimum value is seven so that's the very purpose of the mean function. Okay, so let's move on to the max function. About max function, let's see what we mean by max function by having the same procedure. Let's start it with equal sign, then type the name of a function, then open parentheses, highlight again the range. Okay, that means it's where the Microsoft Excel will get its source okay, of values. And then identify the max value so after which just type enter so the max value here is 20 so what do you think we mean by max value okay so if the mean value is the lowest value in the range the max value now is the what we call maximum value in a range okay so i hope i, I hope it is clear to you what we mean by the mean and the max value okay let's move on to the median function so what about median function? What does it mean? Okay, let's use the median function. Let's type the name of function or click if it's already displayed here. Oops. Okay, then open parentheses. It's midget. Okay, 
the same procedure just have to highlight the range of cells okay so at this time i just would like to use uh, four columns here one row so only four values is include are included in the selection so after which close the range then enter so the median value is 12 okay but can you see 12 here in the selection of course not okay so it's not in the selection so how did microsoft excel generate or come up with the 12 answer okay okay so this is how microsoft excel do the identification of the median value so it first arranges numbers from either lowest to highest like let's start it with lowest 9 10 14 and 17. so of four values here the microsoft excel choose the two middle values since there's no center value here the microsoft excel will just add the two middle values then divide it into two and that's how it came or that's how the result is generated so 10 plus 14 will be 24 and 24 divided by 2 will be 12 and that's how the median value is identified or is computed by the microsoft excel but suppose we have five values in the selection like i'll try under range here i'll change the range suppose i want this range okay so i let the microsoft excel select the median value here enter okay so nine is the median value why okay so as we can see uh let's first arrange just the, the 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 values so let's start with seven eight it is in the selection then we have there nine we have two tens ten and ten so we don't have any difficulties in identifying the the middle value here because we can already identify the middle okay so there is only one middle value and there is no need for the microsoft excel to compute it or sum something like that and divide because it's already very clear that the middle value is nine okay so that's how we come up with nine result here in the median uh, function okay so i hope you've understood understand what we mean by the median value let's move on to the mode what about the mode okay so let's see what we mean by mode okay so let's start with equal sign then type mode then highlight the range you can if you have lots of values to be included in your selection you just have to highlight it so we the range is b4 to e8 okay that means microsoft excel will identify here in all values included in the range the what we call the what we call mode value so after which enter key so the mode value here is 10 so what does mode value mean so mode value here is the what we call most numbered value so there are lots of 10 in the selection we have three tens uh two seventeen and so on but we also have three eight only that the microsoft excel okay uh specify or prioritize the bigger value okay so like here we have three tens and we also have three eights but the answer the excel uh, the displays the value 10 because it has a bigger value compared as compared to eight okay so that's about the mode okay let's move on to the mathematical functions we have here the sum and average so how do we use a sum function so same procedure you just have to start with the equal sign then identify or type the the function you want to use like sum then highlight the range after typing the open parenthesis then close and enter so i think we don't have any problem with how we mean or what we mean by sum so sum is the total 
okay, the total value of the range. So it sums up, the Microsoft Excel summed up all the values in the range. Okay, let's move on to the last but not the least value or function that I would like you to be familiar with. So again, let's start with the equal sign, then type the name of a function that is average. Okay, then highlight the range. Okay, so I just would like to include all quizzes here. Close and enter. Okay, so I think we, the average function is not new to us because uh, we the, the Excel will just sum up the whole thing here, then divide it to the total number of items, and will display to us the result, and that is 12. So those are the basic functions which we can use in Microsoft Excel, and if you want to make use of those functions in an easy way, like you want to just sum up, the value without typing any functions you can also use here the shortcut key or the icon okay so here are the what we call basic functions which you can use in microsoft excel okay so i would like to give you another sample using this uh, tool or this uh, icon or this command so again you just have to highlight here the thing or the values you want to sum up suppose and then click auto sum automatically the computer will compute or the excel will compute the summation of the values in the highlight okay so that's also true uh, with the use of the same uh, function if you are to compute in a horizontal way okay just have to highlight horizontally the values then click auto sum automatically the microsoft excel will display to you the result here okay so i hope you have learned from our lesson today our topic is functions so class, if you still have other questions about uh, functions, you can always uh, ask me and uh, I will be happy to answer it. Okay, so thank you for listening. I hope to hear from you if you have any comment and you are always uh, free. I mean, I will always be happy to accommodate you. God bless everyone.